last name Culkin, first name Macaulay. He played Kevin McAllister in Home Alone 1 and 2. And that really scary boy from The Good Son. Say goodbye. No! Spooky. But we're not here to talk about those movies. This Appreciate Me is all about the Page Master. Your family to a world beyond imagination. The Page Master. If you haven't seen this classic, you're missing out on one of the most magical movie experiences of the 90s. This live action animated fantasy adventure film hit theaters all across America on November 23rd, 1994. Sadly, it only made back about half of its budget and was considered a commercial failure. But thankfully, others saw the beauty in this movie and eventually it became a cult classic. Thank you. Lay down. Lay down. I'm trying to film here. Lay down. I know. Besides Mr. Culkin, the film also stars Christopher Lloyd, Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Stewart, Spock, and even Scooby-Doo. At the start, we are introduced to the statistic-loving, scared-of-everything Richard. His mean old dad sends him out to go buy some stupid nails, but instead, our hero ends up at a very mysterious and magical place called the library. There's a shady librarian who bestows upon him the all-powerful library card. Richard trips real hard and ends up in a magical cartoon world. <gasps> what? I'm, I'm a cartoon! On his journey to find the exit and get back to the real world, he goes on a bunch of wacky adventures with his brand new crew. Books that can talk. Adventure. Fantasy. And horror. If I'm being honest here, I relate with the, this <laughs> depressed, dopey-eyed, just sad, sad man uh, the most. Not all of us can be a fantasy. Honestly, any clip with horror in it is hilarious. I love everything about his character. He is so cute and he's so funny and so just anything with him, I'm good. Whatever You Imagine is the theme song for this movie and it is just inspiring, cheesy. It's just everything you could wish for in a 90s animated movie theme. What? a lot of the Neverland medley and also somewhere out there which don't 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 get me started <laughs> on that song let's not let's not do that yes it's in a kids movie and yes it's not the best thing ever but it really is beautiful and I love it a lot anyway it really is a shame that not a lot of people have even heard of this song because I, I think if they had it would be it would be a classic just like all the rest of them. I'll leave a link for the song down below in the description so you can check it out because it's good. The message! This movie proves that art is important. Books and music and movies are these meaningful and influential things that open us up to so many different worlds. They often help guide us and turn us into the person that we're meant to be. It encourages kids to explore the arts and to use the strongest weapon that they have, their imagination. The Page Master also shows audiences that we can't always do things on our own and that that's okay. Don't be afraid of new things. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Embrace it. Believe in magic. Believe in yourself. My God, the values that this movie threw at you, it's ridiculous. <laughs> The use of books is a bit outdated as everyone now uses computers, tablets, and smartphones to enjoy entertainment. But that doesn't change the strong beliefs that this cheesy 90s movie tried and succeeded on passing on to its viewers. Simply watching digital screens these days changes the entire experience users have while enjoying media. The Page Master uses something that you can actually hold in your hand, which makes the magic inside that much more real. 
and I think that's what makes this movie even more special. Friends, if you'd like to watch it, right now it's on Amazon for only $10. This has been Appreciate Me, the Page Master Edition. See you later, friends. Watch me.